The hot summer weather is baking our backyards and our sprinklers are really working overtime. There is another way though. With a little bit of planning and preparation, your garden can be water wise and you will not have to water as much. How nice will that be? Here's K2's Brian Wood. Water wise gardening can be beautiful gardening. Take a look at what Chris Hollenbach has done with her garden here in Portland. Chris, thanks for joining us. This took a lot of planning, didn't it? Yeah, it took a little. Um, you know, when I first moved in, everything was very square, very linear, just <laughs> like the house. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and one of the big things when it comes to planning is to make sure you think about preparing. Absolutely. Preparation is so important when you're dealing with water-wise gardening. What yeah. have you done down here? Yeah, with your soil, you know, in the Portland metropolitan area, typically we've got a lot of really heavy clay soil. And I can't stress enough, add organic matter, compost, soil amendments. It, allow, it feeds the soil, also allows for water capacity you know, holding and it keeps it cool. So when you do water, it sticks around exactly. in the garden where the plants need it. Exactly, and then keeps that dirt cool so the plants aren't stressed out. What about the plants? Water-wise gardening, a lot of people tend to think, oh, that means I have to have cactuses in my yard all the time. That's not the case here. You have beautiful plants. No, not at all. Basically what you want to do is you first want to look at your space that you're planting and you want to say to yourself, you know, what do I have here? What do I have in soil? What mm -hmm. do I have in light exposure? Maybe some natural water during the winter. And then you go out and you find plants that need that space. That's their environment. And then you group those plants together. And that's what you've done here. This is a really hot corner in your yard. Yeah. These are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is a real hot bed. This bed right here, it actually, you know, it comes up. It literally faces to the west. I mean, it's staring the sun in the face in the later part of the day. And I really do not water that much. It's very infrequent. And they all do just real well here together. What about watering? Uh, I, I notice you do still have quite yeah, a bit of lawn. Yeah, I do. I maintain the, the lawn because, um, you know, I've got dogs. I like it. I actually let my lawn go dormant in the summer, but um, you don't have to do that. And one of the things that you can do is you can maintain a green lawn even in the summer with one inch of water a week. It, it doesn't take much. No, it doesn't take that much. Right. No, it does not. Chris, thanks for oh, sharing your garden welcome. with us. You're if you want more information on WaterWise Gardening, we have some great links on our website. Just go to katu.com and look at Inside K2. Brian Wood, K2 News. All right, Brian, thank you. In fact, uh, on our website, we have a whole section about tapping into water savings and links to conserve on hto.org. Just look for a green living icon on the right side of the K2 homepage.